No one wants a recession, that's a given, but it seems to be inevitable. As investors, the only thing that we can try to do is look for ways that we can take advantage of it. Some industries tend to perform better than others in recessionary times. One such product is lipstick. The lipstick index is the theory that sales of affordable luxuries rise during economic downturns. The phrase was coined in the early 2000s by Leonard Lauder, heir to Estee Lauder Cosmetics. He believes that lipstick sales and the economy are inversely proportional. As gold is to the market, lipstick is to the economy. When the economy goes down, lipstick sales go up. However, the origin of the theory was economics and sociology professor Juliet Shore. In her 1998 book, The Overspent American, she said that when money is tight, women would splurge on luxury brand lipsticks. Perhaps it's the most affordable luxury available. Shore said, and I quote, they are looking for affordable luxury, the thrill of buying in an expensive department store, indulging in a fantasy of beauty and sexiness, buying hope in a bottle. Cosmetics are an escape from an otherwise drab everyday existence. In 2001, Lauder provided evidence to support this theory and coined the term. After 9-11, MAC factories started running extra shifts to produce more lipstick. Three weeks following the attack, sales of MAC lipstick and lip gloss grew 12%. This year, data from global market tracking firm NPD Group found sales of lipstick and other lip makeup grew 48% in first quarter over the previous year, more than twice as fast as other products in the beauty category. An academic study led by Texas Christian University professor Sarah Hill and Christopher Redenheffer proved the lipstick effect theory to be true in the study entitled Boosting Beauty in an Economic Decline, Mating, Spending, and the Lipstick Effect. They proved that recession cues increase women's desire to purchase beauty products. However, they also found that it isn't just limited to lipstick. Women subscribe to anything that could enhance their attractiveness. They said that when given a choice between the pricey attractiveness enhancing products and the discount versions, women, regardless of their economic status, chose the more expensive option. Before you go investing in lipstick, I'll throw you a curveball. NPD's data also showed that during the pandemic, when everyone's lips were hidden behind a face mask, people turned to perfume. So what do you think? Will you be buying shares of any fragrance or beauty products? Or would you rather start a business related to makeup and fragrance? Let me know in the comments section. This has been Ivory Hacker for Noble Gold News.